Hello and welcome back. In this session we're going to look at, again, it's an extension of the last uh, video we've we've done there. We read in, we read in uh, uh, strings from the console. Um, our learning outcomes in this one uh, will be how we can capture numeric data from the console. Again, after we've captured it, uh, convert this data to numeric and assign uh, the, the, this to a variable. And once we've done that, we can then perform calculations and display the data. Okay, so let's go over and have a look at the code and see how we can do this. Okay, I have a, a new project open here and I'm going to declare a couple of ints. Um, so int and I'll say int a and assign, uh, set that to 5. Okay, uh, b and we'll assign that to 9. Okay, uh, we can add in more later on if we want. <clears throat> now, similar to the last one, again, we have to, uh, uh, I'm going to start off by asking the question uh, for somebody to actually enter in data. So I'll do a console write line here. Um, and I'll say enter first number. This is a number. Okay, and uh, again, I need to read that from the console. Um, now, I want to assign that to, uh, actually, what I'm going to do, sorry, I shouldn't have done that. What I'm going to do here is just int a, and I'm not going to assign any values to them at all. So we have int a and int b. Okay, and we'll take these from the console. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, uh, initialize A. Uh, so I'll say A is set to... Now if you looked at the, lo the last one, the last uh, uh, video, you would have seen uh, that we had set that to a console.readline. Uh, there. Um, now Again, the, the problem with this is, uh, you can see there I've got a red squiggly underline, uh, and if I mouse over that, you can see there that I cannot, uh, uh, it reads, kind of, basically what it's saying is, I cannot convert string to int. So what's happening is, the console reads the uh, reads everything off the, the, the anything, any input we have in the console line, it's going to treat that as a string. So therefore, we must convert whatever is read off the console into a string uh, or into an int. Uh, so I'm going to use a built-in uh, method called int uh, dot, and you can see there from the the uh, the drop-down menu, uh, I've uh, a lot of the things I can use here. And what I'm looking for is the parse method. So int dot parse, and basically what this is going to do is it's going to whatever uh, there's the method. So basically, whatever is in the parentheses, it's going to uh, change into or parse it into an int. So basically, all I have to do is put the console read line in here. So that's what I'll do. I'll just take out that one there and put this at the end. So it must be, again, for I must have uh, an opening and closing parentheses. So int.parse is now holding console.readline. Uh, so again, whatever I type in to the console, treated as a string, is going to be parsed, turned into an int, okay, and assigned to the variable a. Okay, and I'm going to do exactly the same with the uh, with the um, variable b. So I'll just uh, save a bit of time there. I'll copy and paste here and just change this to b. And I'll say enter a second number here. Okay, so you can see there that this is very similar to the, what we've done the last time. Uh, the only thing, or the extra thing we've added in was the int.parse. Okay, it is important that you understand that uh, anything we enter into the console is treated as a string. Okay, uh, now the last time when we done first name, last name, there was no problem. We had to, they were strings, so we were treated as a string, so we didn't have to convert them to anything. We just printed them out or displayed them on the screen. 
Okay, I can now uh, uh, I can now uh, do, do do some calculations on this. Um, I can declare uh, um, an answer. Okay, um, so uh, again, I'll have I'll declare another variable up here at the top. I'll call it answer or ans. Okay, which is an int. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set ans uh, to uh, a multiplied by b. Okay, and now I can display out the answer. Now I'll do a console uh, right line here. Console dot right line. Um, there we go. And what I'll display out here is ans. Okay, so you can see there. there's my program. So what I'm going to do is enter a number. That'll be assigned to the variable A. Enter another number. That'll be assigned to the variable B. And again, uh, what I'm doing here is a calculation. That they've both now been converted to ints. So I have A multiplied by B. Okay, and then I'm going to write out the answer. Okay, so let's run this bit of code. Uh, again, it's just compiling now. So uh, it's asking me to enter the first number. So I'll enter the first number, which is 5. Okay, I'll enter a second number, which is 6. Okay, hit return, and you can see there it's multiplied 5 by 6, giving me the answer is 30. Okay, uh, so this is how we can actually uh, work with numerics on the console. Again, if I had, a, again, remember an int in our data types, an int is a whole number. If uh, if I had it declared doubles at the top, it would be in double dot parse or whatever. Okay, and we'll see this again during the course uh, uh, and how we can use these in various programs. Okay, thank you for your attention.